Now let's look at this question. Okay, it is on light, specifically shadows. All right, now here at Blue Tree, we actually noticed that schools really like to test on the topic of shadows. Though it's just a subtopic of light, but we find that, you know, in tests and exams, um, questions always come out on shadows, specifically, um, what are the factors that affect the size of the shadow? You know, what are ways that we can change the shape of shadows and so forth? So it is really important that you actually master the concepts behind this topic. All right. So June shines her torch at a ball as shown in the diagram below. All right. So this is the setup. Now, what can she do to get a smaller shadow of the ball on the screen? Okay, so this is not difficult. All right. But we will go through how we actually get larger or smaller shadows. Okay, so the size of the shadow actually depends on three factors, the screen, the object, and the light source. Okay, so if we look at this short um, cartoon drawing, all right, it actually describes how to get a bigger shadow and how to get a smaller shadow. Okay, and um, it's depicted with drawing, so I think it will allow you to visualize better. So the first way to get a bigger shadow is we actually move the object nearer to the light source, okay? Or simply we move the light source nearer to the object. We decrease the distance between the light source and the object. That gives us a bigger shadow. Now, the second way is to actually move the screen further away from the object. Moving on, let's see how to create a smaller shadow. Now, we move the object further away from the light source or we move the light source further away from the object. Simply put, we are increasing the distance between the object and the light source to get a smaller shadow. The second way to get a smaller shadow is we move the screen closer to the object. Okay, so to summarize what we have seen okay, in the drawings, larger shadow, move object nearer to the light source, or I move the object further from the screen. Smaller shadow, I move the object further from the light source or move the object closer to the screen. So let's look at the options we have. A, to move the object closer to the screen. The screen. Yes, this will allow me to form a smaller shadow. Now, if I move the torch nearer to the screen, okay, I'm actually also moving the torch nearer to the ball. Now take note that this will actually give me a larger shadow, so this is incorrect. If I move the torch further away from the ball, yes, I'm creating a smaller shadow, so this is correct. And finally, to move the screen further away from the ball, no, it will give me a larger shadow. So my options are actually A and C.